Is there stuff in my teeth? I was just eating chips. Okay, let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to About First Coffee, where life begins after coffee. Today I'm sharing with you some DIY shorts for the summertime. Oh, don't you dare look back, just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said, shut up and dance with me. This I'm going to teach you how to take some shorts or pants that may already be in your wardrobe that you don't quite like and how to upcycle them or you can go to the Goodwill, which is what I did. Pick up some shorts and pants there and give them a whole new makeover to make your new most favorite pair of shorts for this summer. Also, before we jump into this, I just wanna let you know that I finished filming a Q&A just a few minutes ago where I give away the goodie that is inside this bag. And that video will be my next video, so if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that giveaway. But without further ado, let's jump into these DIYs. Okay, the first DIY, I'm taking these shorts that I bought that fit me really great, but they had these pom-poms at the bottom. It's not that I don't like pom-poms, it's just that I didn't really care for them on this pair of jeans. The first thing that I need to do is remove the pom-poms, so I'm just flipping these inside out, and I'm going to cut the pom-poms off. And then for these shorts, I thought it would be really fun to add some cute patches on the back. So you could do any fabric that you want, but I decided I wanted to go with a sort of like American flag theme. But what you're going to want to do is cut it out so it's the size of your back pocket. All I did was sort of lay it up against my back pocket, sort of like roughly mark out where it is, use some scissors to cut out the pocket, and then I went in and I sort of like cut a little more just to make it just right. There's not a perfect science to it. You just want the piece of fabric to be about the same size as your back pocket. Then you're going to take my favorite thing, fusible webbing. This is basically like fabric glue that is activated when you use heat from an iron. And I'm going to cut a bunch of strips of this and place it on the back pocket place my patch over that, and then using the instructions on the back of the fusible webbing, you're just going to press an iron on top of this. The iron activates the fusible webbing, creating a really strong sort of like fabric glue, and that adheres the fabric right to the jean. If you have any little spots that weren't quite right, you can come back in with a little more fusible webbing. Make sure that the bond is as close to the edge of the fabric as possible, just so I get a really nice, strong, secure hold so that these shorts will last me a long time. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other back pocket with the other fabric, and that's pretty much about it. I have my finished shorts. I've taken shorts that I didn't quite love the style, and I have upcycled them into these really cute, trendy USA shorts. Look at her, just keeps on getting better with her hand in mine. So we're walking by the shore, I've got something to say, but words can't describe the way that I feel. That I'm going to upcycle is this pair of capris that I got at the Goodwill. The first thing I'm going to do with these capris is make them into shorts. Taking a ruler, I'm going to measure out about eight and a half to nine inches down from the top of the shorts. You obviously can adjust depending on your preference and your leg length and all of that sort of stuff, but I find that nine inches is a pretty good place to start. And I'm just going to mark it off and then I'm going to cut with a pair of good scissors all the way across and I'm going to make sure that the other pant leg is as even as I can get it. For this pair of jeans, I wanted to create a really fun, distressed type of pair of jeans. I'm just coming in with this steak knife and I'm just going to distress up these jeans. I even distressed them up some more after I stopped filming, but I'm basically just pulling at the edges to make it really fray. I'm going to use this to distress around the pockets. I'd use my scissors to cut a few more rips into the jeans, and I just really want them to look sort of distressed and worn out. I really wanted to create a pair of shorts where the pockets sort of hang out the bottom. I think it's so cute, but honestly, in order to cut your jeans so short that the pocket is actually hanging out, those shorts are gonna be booty shorts, and I ain't into that life. I like the idea of the pockets hanging out, but I don't like the idea of the booty cheek hanging out. So in order to fake the look of having pockets that are hanging out the bottom, I'm going to flip these jeans inside out, and I'm going to actually cut the excess of the pocket off. If you can see, I'm not actually cutting the pocket. Most jeans on the bottom will have this like excess fabric, so the pocket still stays intact. I can still use my pocket, even though, let's be honest, what woman actually uses their front jeans pockets like nobody. And then I'm going to use my trusty fusible webbing, just bring them down so they sort of hang out the bottom a little bit. It looks like I have super cute cutoffs where my pockets are hanging out, but I'm still keeping shorts that are long enough that I don't have to worry about showing the whole world my whole world, you know what I'm saying? And that's about it, that's how I took these capris and I made them into some adorable distressed cutoff jeans. 
Oh, don't you dare look back, just keep your eyes on me I said you're holding back, she said shut up and dance with me This woman is my destiny She said ooh, ooh, shut up and dance with me this last pair I found this pair of pants they fit me great in the waist just like the capris did but they were jeans and they were more like high waters on me I'm a tall lady and most jeans are not long enough on me but I knew they fit me great up top and I could make them into an adorable pair of shorts so I'm just going to go ahead and cut these just like I cut the pair that I did before this I'm going to cut these ones a little bit longer I went about nine and a half to ten inches because I'm going to cuff this pair of jeans and then what I'm gonna do with these ones is stud them I've wanted a pair of jeans that have cute studs on them since probably two summers ago but every time I find some I try them on and they just don't fit right so even though I like the style I don't like the way they fit and I was like you know what I'm just gonna make my own pair of studded jeans. I got this little bag of studs at my local Joan Fabrics for like five dollars. So the first thing I did was went to Pinterest. I sort of found some inspiration on sort of what I wanted to do. There's so many different ways you can stud shorts and using a sharpie I'm just sort of marking the areas where I kind of want the studs to be. I'm not being super particular about it and then I'm just popping these studs in. They're so easy to use. As you can see they have these little claws and all you do is you push them through the piece of jean flip it inside out and then I'm just using a butter knife and you're going to fold down each one of the corners which secures it into place and then you're pretty much good to go. They're really easy to use. You can create whatever design you want. Like I said, I just sort of wanted something that was sort of loose and free flowing so I just sort of did a little pattern in the front. And all I'm doing, like I said, is cuffing the bottom of the jeans. If you have a pair of jeans that are a little more stiff, you can just use an iron to set that cuff into place. Um, but that about does it. All the other kids with the pumped up kids, you better run, better run. I'll run my gun. All the other kids with the pumped up kicks, you better run, better run. Faster than my bully. Alright, guys, that was all three of my shorts getting upcycled. Some different tips and tricks that you could use to take shorts or pants and make them into some awesome jean shorts for the summertime. If you end up recreating any shorts, make sure that you share them with me on Instagram or Twitter. All of my social media handles will be in the down bar. You can find me on Snapchat down there. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Like I said, I have that Kate Spade giveaway coming up in my next video, and I don't want you guys to miss out on that. But that does it for today's DIY. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and I will see you all in my next video. All the other kids with the pumped up kicks, you better run, baby.